This is gonna be a short video about cassette tape erasing. The question is, is a bulk tape eraser needed for a perfect tape erasure or is a simple tape decking off? Bulk tape erasers are good for erasing the entire cassette in one go, but since the tape deck is also erasing the tape at the same time it's recording, is it actually necessary to use the bulk erasers or can they erase the tape proper? Let's find out. I'm gonna take this bulk tape eraser, TEC E2A, and pit it against a ray set of the Dragon and TMR TC800GL. The Dragon is considered to be one of the best tape decks ever made, so it should also be an excellent tape eraser. And the Yamaha TC800GL is a tour tape deck released 5 years prior to the Dragon, and cause it doesn't even support Time for Cassette, I'm not sure about its erasing qualities. First I'm gonna play a new unused cassette using the Dragon, and record just a reference noise for the comparison. Then I'm gonna record a single track, erase part of it with the Dragon, play back the erased part, and check if I can find some audible residual bits of the track at normal listening levels. Then I'm gonna boost the volume level of the deleted track by 36 decibels to see if the track is still audible even after such a boost. And lastly, I wanna see what's the noise level after the track's been erased. Then I'm gonna do exactly the same thing with the Yamaha on the tape eraser, and I wonder if there will be some audible difference. I'm gonna do all of that four times, every time with different type of cassette, type 1, 2, type 4. And of course, I'll be recording everything back to the PC, so you can hear the difference as well, if there is any. As a Type 1 cassette, I'm gonna use quite abundant Maxell UR, Type 2 is gonna be Axia PS2. As a Type 3, I've got Sony Duet, which is a Japanese version of Sony FECR, on the Type 4 is TDKME. I'm not gonna use any Dolby setting during the initial recording. So let's crack on with the testing. First, let's have a look at the ADC's noise floor. Now the first cassette is a brand new Max LUR, and this is its noise floor straight from factory. I've erased part of the track using the Dragon's eraser at first. Another part was erased by the Yamaha. And the last bit was erased by the TAG. The Dragon and the Yamaha were on par. They erased the tape perfectly without any trace of the previous recording. The TAG, however, went a bit further though. While the Dragon and the Yamaha slightly increased the noise floor, the TAG erased the cassette to the state as if it were new. Again, the Dragon erased the tape perfectly fine, with slightly elevated noise floor. I don't need to comment on Yamaha's performance, it was rubbish. But the TAG bested the Dragon again, even though the results weren't as good as the new cassette this time. Since I haven't got a new Time Free cassette, I can't check its noise floor.
The Yamaha did much better job this time, however some bits of the track were still audible, but after the second run everything disappeared. The T8 did the best job again. Type 4 was a disaster really, at least for the Yamaha on the TAC. The Dragon did cracking job again, but the Yamaha on the TAC were rubbish. Not even second run changed anything. If you wanna use only Type 1 cassette, cheap deck should be enough. If you wanna use Type 2 or Type 3 cassettes on cheap deck, the bulk eraser is probably necessary. The top of the line decks such as the Dragon will do the job perfectly fine. To end all type focuses properly, you'll need one of the top decks. Cheap decks or bulk eraser won't cut it.